What's up, everybody? Joe from Joe's Golden Garage here with you today. Man, I had planned out a long, nice little happy video of a test drive and saying that, hey, I bought the 08 E550 and I got it for 2500 bucks and all that good stuff. Well, we're just going to throw that out the window because I'm already in E550 hell. There's a saying, and the saying is absolutely fucking true. There is no such thing as a cheap Mercedes Benz. Now, you can buy an old analog, you know, 95, get lucky and find one in this good a condition and pay 2,500 to 3,000. I got lucky. Some people are asking six, $7,000 for these stupid things. Or you can pick up an old 80s model with no air conditioning, runs, drives good, be good point A to B car. But there's no such thing as a newer, cheap Mercedes, okay? And I'm learning the hard way. Never in my life have I encountered what I'm encountering right now. I'm just trying to figure out how I can even explain it to you guys. I'm suicidal. I'm thinking about murder. Fire is also kind of, arson is kind of also in my thought process. There's several things going on and it's only seven o'clock in the morning. So it's too damn early to be, you know, doing this kind of shit or feeling these kinds of feelings. Aren't those trees beautiful? Okay, so here's the fucking deal. All right, one of the problems with the car, of course, was the front airmatic suspension is leaking. Okay, but no big deal, really, because it pumps up and it held for 48 hours. It held Friday night, all day yesterday, part of last night, but today, this morning, probably more like 36 hours. This morning I was noticed it had sunk down some, so I thought I better hurry up and get some jack stands under it before it got too low for me to jack it up. And dude, when I say I was a centimeter from being too shy, it was close. It's a good thing I woke up early this morning, otherwise I'd be in even more deep shit. But you probably wonder, why is the trunk open? Well, as you can see, and I cleaned a ton out. This trunk hasn't been opened in years. I don't think. I don't think. So apparently, along with the W211 chassis, along with Airmatic, especially if you have one equipped with Airmatic, there's problems and issues with that. The earlier models, like the 03, 04, I think maybe 05, maybe 06, the SBC system, which has to do with the electronic something by wire braking system, was a huge problem on those. By about 07, they were getting things straightened out, but there are still a few issues. Uh, if you've got an E550, you've got Airmatic. If you have an E350, you just have standard, you know, springs and, and shocks. But there is something about the central locking system, the key fob remotes, the alarm, the trunk not opening. It's a combination of problems. And it first starts out with this wiring harness, which you can see someone has already been into. I have not done anything. I've just been reading the forums and learning as I go along. But I can already see, okay, somebody's already been into this thing. I was wondering why all this shit was down when I finally got the trunk open with the little emergency hard key, okay? If I can get it to come out. If you put it in there, twist it, and pull the handle, the trunk will open but it also triggers the alarm, okay? The lights start flashing, the horn starts blaring. Well, when I did it, the lights started flashing, but I had no horn. So I did some Googling and some research on the Mercedes forums, 
And one of the first suggestions for this problem is remove the siren box because it has a battery in it and it corrodes and it's located behind that front fender liner. Great place for something like that to be. It won't get wet. Um, so I go to check that. I check both sides just to make sure someone's already removed it. Okay, so somebody has already been down this road with this car. So I get back here and they say the brown wire in the harness tends to break. Okay, let's see. It's right here. There it is. Anyway, someone has already found it and electrical taped it. So they've done that repair. Now, I have this white wire that is obviously disconnected or broken from somewhere, but I can't find its mate. I cannot find someone. See, all this is wrapped up. Someone has torn the wrapping off and gone through these wires. This shit's all loose. Someone, someone has been struggling with this problem already. Um... So what has happened is, I was told the car wouldn't lock or unlock, which it wouldn't from the key fob. It would lock and unlock from inside the car using the button, but the key fob wouldn't do anything. Well, I was like, well, the key fob battery's dead. So I went and bought new batteries. Well, lo and behold, that was the problem. The key fob started working. It locked and unlocked the car. But when you press the trunk button, the trunk wouldn't open. Well, my dumbass took the hard key out and did what I just said a minute ago. Twist, pulled latch. Now the car is locked and it will not open. The hard key will not open. You can see where I've sprayed WD-40 just in case it was jammed up. I did that yesterday. This thing is locked tight. Can't open it with the hard key can't open it with the key fob that has brand new batteries in it that was working perfectly before I opened that trunk. Now the car is totally ignoring the key fob, so it will not unlock. So I have a car that needs to crank and run every couple of days to keep the fucking front end up off the ground. That was why I went ahead and jacked it up so it would be up in the air. Um and not slam down on its nose in case I have to have this thing towed out of here. Um, I'm gonna try the good old coat hanger trick and see if I can just get in there to the door handle and pull it because I have no idea what to do next. I've disconnected the battery for hours at a time. Luckily in an E550, the battery's in the trunk. It's been disconnected for hours. But, you know, I did this yesterday and it still won't, you know, it still won't resolve anything. So, anyway, <laughs> here's my new car, y'all. I'm so excited. I will say one thing, it's fast as fuck. And you always know, if you ever buy a Mercedes, an old used one, and the tow hook panel's missing... That's usually a bad sign. That usually means someone has recently had to have it towed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, I think the key to all of this is, I think it was my fault. I think I had played with the fob, locking and unlocking, and I locked the car. Then I came back here and opened the trunk. And that's where I screwed up. I think you could probably still use the trunk with the hard key. Just make sure you have your driver's door maybe standing open or a passenger door standing open. Um, so you don't lock yourself out of the car. And I didn't, I mean, that didn't even cross my mind yesterday. So anyway, she's a beauty and she runs like fire. Uh, pulled the Carfax 4,000 miles ago. They took it to the Mercedes dealership and had all 16 spark plugs replaced and the coils. Now, just think about that a minute. How much do you think that cost? 
16 spark plugs and all new coils at the Mercedes dealership. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I bet it was $3,000. All right, so here's a little update video. I'll get back with y'all. I'm working on this, planning on working on this thing all day. Probably going to burn my ass up when that guy comes out. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. I appreciate it. See y'all. Peace.